Welcome to Candid Africa, truthful and unapologetic. Your Excellencies, President of the Commission, ladies and gentlemen, Ghana is humbled and honored by the decision of the authority of heads of state and government of the Economic Community of West African States, ECOWAS, to elect me by unanimous vote as chairperson of ECOWAS for the next term of one year. I'm aware of the enormity of the task ahead, and I assure you that I'll do my utmost not to let the side down and discharge my duties to the very best of my abilities. The 2020 decision on monetary union within our ECOWAS space we have all recommitted ourselves to the ECOA single currency program and have taken into account the courageous move by our sister nations of the Uemua community to break their long-standing links with the Banque de France. We need practical measures to advance the process of financial and monetary integration. In so doing, we must protect at all costs our freedom and independence of action so that the development of our community responds to the needs and aspirations of our peoples and not to the goals of external agencies and forces. I'm confident that by the grace of God, I can count on the unstinting support of each one of your excellencies in navigating the immediate future of our community. It is important for all of us to recognize that the way forward is to implement regional decisions, such as the ECOWAS trade liberalization scheme, recognizing that ultimately the benefits are in everyone's interest. Those of us who believe strongly in integration can do no better than to give our full support to regional decisions. Through this, we will build institutional confidence and integrity in the structural organs of ECOWAS. Let us collaborate to ensure that we adhere to and maintain common values of governance, i.e. the principles of democratic accountability, respect for individual liberties and human rights, and the rule of law. Such commonality will facilitate immeasurably the process of bonding amongst the peoples of our community. When we think of West Africa, together with our individual countries, we are not just being Pan-Africans, we are also being true nationalists. Because what makes West Africa more prosperous will make each of our individual countries more prosperous. Let us give enthusiastic support to community decisions and build rapidly our community. Our peoples deserve no less and the objectives of peace, progress and prosperity will thus be within our reach, realizing the historic purposes of ECOWAS. Once again, Excellencies, thank you for this honor. Did you like or hate what you heard? Let us know in the comments below.